Hello, awesome people. We're taking a look at another short story uh, in this, which I read in, uh, uh, which I'm recording on the same day, which is why I'm wearing the same things. Uh, uh, but I, I read it in back to back days. But I was out uh, in vacation uh, yesterday for lunch uh, with, a, with a lunch. So I, did, I wasn't able to take my normal lunch off uh, and work from home. Uh, so I had to do some stuff and run some errands. Uh, so and so I just rec so I'm recording them both uh, today on a Saturday. Uh, it's 17 pages long. Uh, it's about took me about 35 or 40 minutes for me to read uh, last night for the second time. Uh, it's written uh, by E. Howard Price, who is the person who wrote uh, Through the Gates of the Silver Key, which is a sequel to an H.P. Lovecraft story called The Silver Key, uh, which he wrote with H.P. Uh, Lovecraft. And what a lot of Lovecraft fans and scholars and so forth have read that, and they thought that some things uh, that were prices are actually uh, Lovecraft and vice versa. Uh, so he wrote, so this is the short story uh, that he sent to H.P. Lovecraft that he liked so much uh, that he put it uh, together, and, and the two of them wrote it together and so forth. So this is um, Beyond the Gates of the Silver Key, uh, which again will star a Carter who is coming through the thing. And he's gone through the gate with he's found a silver key, uh, and now he's gone through the gate. Uh, and so now the next 16 pages uh, will be, I'm sorry, 17 pages rather, uh, will be the, the next chapter of what's actually happening with uh, Carter and so forth. So this is again Price's contribution to it. It's fun, uh, it's interesting, I like it, uh, but it's very um, erudite. It's very, it's very intellectual, especially the last five or six pages, uh, and so forth. Uh, and it does, it doesn't really have a sense of horror. Uh, it really has more of a sense of, uh, uh, of um, you know, more of the, the dreamlands and such. That a P. Lovecraft also wrote a lot of things in. Uh, for folks, out there, um, it's it's uh, it's really more of an intellectual horror, if you will. Uh, you might you might want to call it, call it that. I, I don't know. Uh, but it's interesting for fans of H.P. Lovecraft to go back and read Prices, a, a story that he sent to, to Lovecraft. Uh, they're both in the same circle. They covered a novel, uh, uh, covered a novel, like a short story, again, that this is half of. Uh, so you can go out and read what Price's contributions were and so forth. And it can take me around a little bit longer than a half an hour for me to knock it out last night on a Friday night for the uh, second time. It does have one aspect of H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu Mythos, and that's the, the Necronomicon. So it is a part of the Cthulhu Mythos for folks, and, this, and it also has um, a uh, pretty fun thing uh, that's happening out there too uh, for, for Carter. So I think you'll enjoy going and reading it. I'll try to find this for you uh, on this collection, Tales of the, of the Lovecraft Mothercraft, uh, for the October uh, that I dedicate uh, to H.P. Lovecraft things uh, the, uh, in, the, in the Cthulhu Mythos that he created with his friends and family and can fund stuff and co writers and such. All, all of the people that were in his life. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and get started with my review of this short story for you folks. Um, it's, in, it's a fun one. Again, I keep my reviews spoiler free, so I don't often only give you a few pages to set up things. Anyway, so Carter has set up for some things. He's gone through the gates. Uh, and now where he's arriving in another world, and in about three pages in, he's coming across a guy who to be his guide. Um, and the guy mentions his name, uh, and so forth. He recognizes him as somebody from the Necronomicon who is not a good guy. And you have to sell some stuff, and in order to get, in order to use his power, um, uh, and so forth. But here, uh, here uh, Carter agrees to because he believes having a guide here uh, in the unknown gates are, are going to be some definitely worth doing. All right, um, and then the guide is going to be uh, the vo who's mentioned again in the uh, Necronomicon is going to be one of the key things that are happening. And he's going to be one of the key tour guides uh, through the land uh, beyond the gates of the Silver Key. Uh, then you will, uh, about four or five pages in, you will start to arrive uh, at past that. Uh, and then you'll start to arrive, and then he'll start to talk to some of the natives. Uh, and then he'll, other places he's been you know, transported to. Uh, and then I'll find out more and more about the place he's transported to. And then that's it. That's the end. Uh, that's a short story in 17 pages for you folks. I liked it. I thought it was fun and interesting. It's, but it's very, very erudite. Um, so I'm going to make it more like a six. And um, it's fun though. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go back and rereading it for folks, but it was fun. So that is Price's contribution. Not through the gates of the Silver Key. 
17 pages long for you folks. He sent the love that he liked enough. Uh, and so you can see where, where the divisions are. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed my, my review of this in the 6 out of 10. If you agree or disagree, let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to talk about spoilers or the ending I like a lot, uh, we, can, we can do it too. Um, so let's do it. There's also something in here that feels very, very modern. Not in horror, uh, but in some other stuff too uh, that's happening right now. So if you have read it, let's talk. I'll talk to you about that too uh, in the comments below. Remind me to ask you what I'm talking about. Let's do it. Uh, so there you go. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Uh, if you so, as a reminder, the channel's name, the worst thing about new books, is a quote by a French philosopher who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones. In this book, that's you know, written in a pulp era, decades and decades ago. It's definitely an older work that we sometimes has, has forgotten for folks. And I like to read these things in my October that's dedicated to Catholic uh, So there you are. Uh, if you enjoyed this, why not hit the subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more these to follow. And finally, I just want to thank you so much uh, for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all, we all have so many things that are happening in our lives, and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spend this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and an amazing day.